Change is some sports on the table when UIL is set to meet today. That's the committee governing high school sports, and they're going to discuss several proposals, including eSports. This morning, we've been asking you, should eSports be an officially sanctioned high school activity? You can weigh in right now by going to our website, wfa.com slash vote now. While you do, Chris Odegi is with us from Arlington with more on today's council meeting, and we've seen eSports grown tremendously over the years, Chris. The debate about whether or not they're sports and how they should be included, all that kind of stuff continues to rage on. <laughs> Well, Mark, when this eSports stadium was built here in Arlington back in 2018, it really kicked up that debate. And it also hurt. We got some of those promises about how revolutionary it was going to be, how it was going to be a game changer. Well, now that revolution could become a high school sport. That is because the UIL is in Round Rock where they are holding their committee meetings. And among the proposals is one that would make eSports sanctioned by the UIL. This is the meeting where we see a lot of rule changes and realignment discussed. And eSports is not the only new sport the UIL could adopt. Some of the others considered are table tennis, girls lacrosse, and boys volleyball. There's also a proposal to let boys play on girl volleyball teams since right now, the UIL does not sanction boys volleyball. Other proposals would ban train horns at football games and prohibit cheerleaders at basketball games. Also a proposal to keep coaches from coaching their own child at the school where they are employed. Now this past April, the eSports Stadium did host the state championships for high schoolers, but that was a teacher run organization, a teacher run league. So being sanctioned by the UIL would definitely be definitely be stepping it up a level since it is video games, right? Mark, Garrett, does that work? Step it up a level? Yeah, yeah there you go. Back to you. Yeah. And it looks like, I mean, this has changed. We've done surveys like this before, I remember. And more people, Chris, are saying that it should be an actual sport. Now, only 30%, but that's an increase from what we've seen in the past. Yeah, and I still think that some people have this idea, you know, it's just kids playing video mm -hmm. games. But when you hear about some of the other things that the UIL sanctions, you, you have a little bit of more room, more leeway. So we'll see. We'll keep the poll open. You can yeah. weigh in at WFA.com slash vote now.